country is not a luxury. It is a vital necessity of our existence. It forms the quality of the light within which we predicate our hopes and dreams towards survival and change. First made into language, then into idea, then more tangible action. Poetry helps give name to the nameless so it can be thought. It is how we cobble the furthest reaches of our hopes and our fears, carved from the rock experiences of our daily life. Audre Lorde, she knew that this is what it is to imagine, the revolutionary power of letting language dream in a thousand different tongues, unsuppressed, uncolonized, free. We're here together, made to breathe, light into meaning, into hope, into being. It starts in stillness. Then, small flicker, how a bee pauses to pollinate because his being demands it. And we scatter our stories like that. Poet, healer, student, leader, we are the people's voice box, the unofficial legislators. Poetry is language distilled. Our lyrics pour out honey thick, and we are the distillery that the drunk and the desolate are looking for. From bars to back alleys to bookstores, we are science fair exhibits of failure, birth mothers of growth and guts. The stone suit, the more with less support group for everyone who finds their voice at the bottom of the well. For everyone who finds their voice in a dream about the desert or the rubble beneath collapsed lungs. We are lost and looking to get more lost. We are bike helmets holding whole in semi crash, a billion bony butterflies rising from cocoon, shattered because it's time to bloom. Poet, mother, healer, Speaker, we are pride, we are ego, we are grace, we are strong birds singing into a tough dance of wind. How? You imagine the constellations of your heart? You make yourself a metaphor map, then take it back apart. Find that discomfort and let it be the compass that guides you through your storm of starless nights. First, made into language, then, into idea, then more tangible action. Remember, voice is a privilege as well as a right, so speak for yourself and then pass the mic. And it ends in stillness. Then, small flicker, how the bee pauses to pollinate, spends his whole life making less than a teaspoon of honey because he must. Breathe with me. Light into meaning, into hope, into being. And we scatter our stories like that.